book us through it and then uh, go th we go from there. Are there any questions? Sure. Thanks, Andrew. I'll, 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 I'll before, before they start, I'd just um, I'd like to do a point of clarification here. Um, in the in the report, we've stated that um, CCHL received uh, $95 million worth of dividends. This, this correlates with the table that's in their report, but it relates to two, fi two financial years. So the actual dividend received was 59 in the year. So that's from all their subsidiaries. So just a point of clarification, just to get that underway. And remember that uh, council budgeted $48 million this year, um, but due to the circumstances that went down, we only received the 22, um, and we did borrow for the rest um, as, as, as we agreed. So just that, that was just clarifying that um, first opening statement there, just to make sure right. that everybody's happy with that. Um, because if you go back to the table, you can add things up on that table, but they don't physically will come through to the boom because they're multiple financial years. So um, I'll introduce Jeremy and Paul, and I'll step away, and Leah can come forward. Thank you. Thanks, Liam. Great. <clears throat> Good. Well, with that clarification, uh, thanks for the opportunity to present our annual report. Um, so the full annual report, which has been sent out, uh, sets out our progress against our five strategic pillars. I'd really encourage you to take the chance to have a look through that. It's got some um, much uh, deeper uh, thoughts in it than I can give you in the short period of time here. But I'll give you a snapshot of some of those pillars and how they're playing out within our group companies. Uh, Katiakatanga, City Care is committing over 39,000 volunteer hours in the community. Uh, Mana, Enable, providing free Wi-Fi in uh, Cathedral Square. Sustainability, this is the ports, uh, a good example of that is the ports Healthy Harbour Leadership, where they're facilitating research to learn more about ocean plastics. People, which of course is a core plank of, of all of our businesses. And there I particularly like to highlight and uh, like you to have a look at the Tifariki platform that has been facilitated through CCHL. And that's really to harness the wider capability of the group and in much more increased collaboration, which can be very powerful for us. So if you take the chance to have a look through that, it would be much appreciated. But for today, we'll focus on the financial, It is the F&B committee. Uh, you should have a summarised report in front of you that uh, Leah has prepared. The year-end financial result is made up of many moving parts, but there's a couple of key dominating factors in this particular one, and that's covid and the revaluation of the LPC net assets. As you'll see from Leah's report, uh, the group has responded really well to the challenge of COVID so far. Uh, that's not to say uh, that there aren't more challenges to come as this plays out. I'll turn now to the revaluation of the LPC assets and just a brief comment on that because it is key to the result. So in June, uh, at the end of June this year, LPC changed their accounting, the poli accounting policy for the valuation of their property, plant and equipment. And they did that to align with group policy and we, we value these things at fair value. That valuation method, it really more accurately pr uh, reflects the earning power of the assets uh, as opposed to this historical cost, less depreciation and impairment. So it's a change in accounting policy did impact the profit. Uh, the net impact was a fair value adjustment of $157.8 million at group level. That's after tax. Uh, but I think it's worth pointing out that re revaluation doesn't have a direct cash impact on the group. It doesn't impact LPC's position as a strong long-term infrastructure business. Giving you some highlights on the uh, financial results for the year. At a group level, we had just over a billion dollars of operating revenue, and that was up 4% year on year. Net profit after tax was a loss of 53 million compared to 132 million positive last year. But of course, without that LPC revaluation, that would have come in at circa uh, 105 million positive. The group assets. Uh, now sitting at about 4.5 billion, that's up just under 300 million, and that was driven by investments made by the airport, by Orion, and an uplift in valuation and enable of 66 million. Group borrowings increased on the other side of the ledger, increased by about uh, 222 million, and are now sitting at just over 2 billion. 
at the uh, parent level, so that's the holding company level, our operating revenue of 60 million, which we largely driven from what we received from the subsidiaries, was about 28 million less than last year. Payments to lenders climbed to 39 million, so that went up from 33 million to 30, 39 million with the increased debt load that we have on board. Uh, we paid dividends to council in that year of 22 million. That compared to 48 million in ordinary dividends last year, but of course we also made those uh, uh, special dividend payments or capital release of 140 million. Overall, our borrowings have increased by about 70 million at the parent company level, and that's a net increase um, of on lending to our subsidiaries of about 82 million. Uh, we also repaid some core debt of around about $11 million. So overall, the valuation of our investments has increased by about $100 million and now sits at $2.9 billion. Uh, just in closing, and I did mention this at the AGM for the, those of you who had the opportunity to, to attend, that we believe that our strategy, and it encompasses some of these following things, but our strategy of taking the long-term outlook our diversification of investments, financial prudence, supporting our subsidiary boards and giving them the space that they really need to make the right decisions at the right time. And more recently, the substantial, substantially enhancing the collaboration across the group to enhance that, uh, that uh, full potential of the group. We believe that all these factors have combined to uh, enable us to report to you that as at the end of the financial year just passed, and despite the second unprecedented uh, crisis in a decade, that the group is actually in a sound financial position. There are no doubt uh, many challenges ahead, and there's a lot to do, but I believe we've got a really strong foundation in place, and I also believe we have every reason to be able to look to the future with some confidence. So with those opening remarks, we are more than happy to take questions. Cool. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Does anyone have any questions? Aaron. Yep. can't believe I'm the only one. Um, just around uh, some of the feel-good stuff you said, Jeremy, at the start was great, you know, like the hours by city care of volunteerism and so on and so forth. What about um, getting the bottom end of their staff and any others under your umbrella to the living wage? Where are we at with that and what would be the final date that the last person would be on that across the entire organisation? Yeah, thanks, thanks Aaron. Um, so the living wage is, as you know, we've been on a journey for the last couple yep. of years um, <coughs> and working with the groups and to be fair, um, have actually made some really good progress mm. in that. Um, uh, when you've got, and there is really only two entities that um, within the group that don't, that have people below the living wage. Um, and the progress has been very good, but unfortunately with COVID, we were on track to make this year um, to get everyone above them, but with COVID it has had an impact on that. Uh, and that's because we've got, you know, uh, zero increases in salaries at, in, in, in a union based. Um, so they are working, it is still gonna get back on track, but whether uh, we actually get it in line with what we want to by the end of this financial year, I can't wait that won't happen. Right, so I understand salaries over a certain amount having zero increases, but right at that bottom end, and given the, uh, and one of the companies being City Care, of course, um, they uh, turned some quite good numbers this year. Um, and I know everyone at the table has a different view, but I, my personal view would have been, I would have rather seen them get the staff up to living wage than had bought a fleet of electric vehicles, for instance done it the other way around, looked after the people first, then, um, and I know that there's those other targets as well, and they yep. all exist, and it's a balancing act, but um, it's... And, and the balancing act is also too about ensuring that um, all staff keep their jobs, uh, which yep. has been the biggest challenge for all entities, and especially in those um, contracting uh, entities. Um, plus two, if you think about from a yes uh, City Care did do well, and uh, they've been on a journey themselves. And even in the challenges in the last couple of years, they have progressed that bottom end up in line. And, and the way they have done that is they're moving everybody up, but moving that that smaller group even higher. Because it's not just 
those right under the living wage. It's, yep. there's, a, you know, there's a whole range that they're moving them up. And it's very hard when you're saying there's no increases to everybody to actually move just one entity, one part of it, when you're in a union as well in negotiations. So they're working really hard. It's definitely on the radar. Don't think for one minute that it's not a priority. It is. Uh, the priority is keeping people in jobs this year uh, and focusing on going forward um, and keep getting back on track with that. Yeah, yeah. So, do we have an end date? Sorry, no. uh, not do at this stage, but I will keep you posted as I do do in the reporting. Yeah, it would be quite good to yeah, even if absolutely. that date moves, as long as we kind of have. Well, if, if things happy. going well, it's it's one year. Things go terrible, it's three. Correct. Or it's, if things go better than well, it's six months. Whatever it, those numbers, it'd be nice to have a lens on. Yep, thank you. And, and we're committed to keep reporting back on that. Brilliant. Thank you. Yep. Cool. Any other questions? No, Leo. I just had one, um, and I was just when I was reading through the notes, the accounts. Just a oh clarification for me. <laughs> it's under personnel costs, so there's the salaries and wages for 275 mil, defined contributions, and then there's other of three and a half million. What What's the other? What note is it? Sam? What note is it? Have you got the note reference in front? Uh, of yeah, it's 8A. It's on page 95. I knew there was a reason we bought it. Yeah, 95. Did you say, Sam? Oh, yeah, 95 of our one, which is. Uh, 71 of yours. 71? Okay. Come on, getting bad. Turn the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> Leah can't see, oh, she's getting old. My old is getting... She needs glasses. Can't see. No, yeah. just tell me what page it is. Go my <laughs> 71, did you say? Yeah, page 71. 71. There we go, this has got to be use it. Use a bigger font next year, Leah. Yeah, yeah. I think I might. It's probably lots of white yeah, space. It's not actually on that one. Yeah. What would it be? Keep, keep talking amongst yourselves and I'll come back to you as soon as I found it. Um, <laughs> oh, it's actually a personnel thing. I think it's um, us. Okay. Um, I should know this. No, 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 no. I think it is. Which is 95. Yeah. Were there any other questions while we track that one down? No? Okay. Sorry, bear with me. Sam, have you got it up in front of you? Yep. So it's 95 in the annual. Can you explain just what 75 is? What's the 75 in the annual? There'll be other costs related to the group in regards to everything that's been related to personnel costs. I don't know if it's off my head, I can come back to it, but it's um, anything that's been defined under the standards personnel costs. Um, so salary wages, super, what other things? Could be other key things that are part of uh, REMS, um, uh, LTIs, possibly, um, and so forth. Um, yeah, I'll just hold it out and I'll have any other Sorry, Sam, what was your question? Oh, so my question was, there's a in personnel costs, there's salaries and wages, you know, superannuation, and then an other of three and a half million, which I was just trying to understand what that related to. So I think yeah. Leah might, she might be able I'll to come, come back, back to, to us. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Any other questions? No. Um, there's a provision, up, a recommendation up there to note the annual report for that. Would someone like to move it, Jimmy? And Aaron will second it. Any discussion? All in favour? Against? That's carried.